Today I am at the Antelope Valley Poppy Reserve, which is about, I don't know, 70 or so miles north of Los Angeles. So it is perfect for a day trip. Welcome back to my channel, and if this is your first time here, welcome. On my channel, you'll find lots of videos about things to do in California. So if California travel is something you're interested in, click on subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when my next video comes out. I have not been here before. It's my first time and I'm super excited about it. So let's take a look around. To get to the Poppy Reserve, you'll head north on the 5 freeway, then take the 14 towards Palmdale, Lancaster. When you get to Lancaster, you'll take Avenue I exit. From Avenue I, it'll take about 20 minutes to get to the Poppy Reserve. There's a parking fee of $10 and there is sometimes a line of cars to get in. My wait was about 20 minutes on a busy Saturday afternoon, which I didn't mind. You can park on the side of the highway and then walk into the reserve. That'll save you $10, but I don't know that you'll save any time getting into the reserve. When I got in, there was so much to see. I couldn't decide what to do first. So I took a deep breath and decided to go to the interpretive center and the gift shop where I was determined not to buy anything. <laughs> the Interpretive Center had artwork, info about the women who made the reserve possible, and some nature displays. I couldn't resist. I bought this visor. <laughs> it's time to hit the trails and see the poppies. I started at the Lightning Bolt Trail. These trails are really well groomed and they're suitable for wheelchairs or baby carriages. These covered areas are perfect for having a picnic or for standing on to get a better photo. Along the trail they have these kiosks that tell you about the park, about the plants, the invasive species, and the wildlife that you'll find in this area. Look at all the tiny people up on the hill. <laughs> California is in a severe drought, so you'll see a lot of dry patches around the poppies. Lancaster is up in the high desert, so I don't care how warm it is in LA when you leave. When you get up here to the Poppy Reserve, be prepared for strong winds. It is just going to be wicked windy. <laughs> All of the trails intersect, so it doesn't really make any difference which one you take. I wanted to keep going up to get some fantastic views. They have these placards along the way that they call the cell phone tour stops. They have a QR code that you can scan on your cell phone and it will take you to a website that has information about this area. The poppy was named the California State Flower in 1903 and at the time open fields like this of poppies were all over the state. Poppies still grow throughout California, but this is the last open field of poppies left in California. I'm going to keep heading up. As tempting as it might be to walk among the flowers and get that Instagram photo, please stay on the trails. You'll see more than just poppies up here. There are a lot of different species of flowers. These are the yellow ones. Here are some purple ones. Look at that view. One of the coolest things about the Poppy Reserve is that it gives you a sense of what California looked like in the 1700s. Coming to this Poppy Reserve is like taking a walk into the past. There are poppies everywhere and it is so beautiful. But because California is in a drought, we don't have as many as there have been in previous years. I can't even imagine how much more beautiful this could look if there were more poppies. 
It doesn't matter if you want to take a short hike or a long hike, you're going to get spectacular views wherever you go. The trails are well maintained and you have these benches that you can stop and rest along the way. I'm almost to the top. This is the highest point in the reserve. You get 360 degree views of the poppies. They have two monuments that tell you what the ranges are on either side of the park, but the views from here are stunning. <laughs> If you are looking for a fun day trip from Los Angeles, then head up to the Antelope Valley Poppy Reserve. It is definitely worth your time. I hope this helps you find your adventure. Thank you for watching.